Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about what's an IE802.3 BT PoE switch. So to, in order to understand what that is, we're going to have to refresh our memory on what's PoE. The PoE technology is a method of transmitting power and data through one single Ethernet cable. With this technology, it will be very convenient for us when we set up a network system. All we need is one device to connect to our alternating current, and that will provide us with amount of power and that power will power up the whole network system and throughout the network system all we need is ethernet cables to help us you know connect every device and provide power and data to them then we won't need any more power cords or how to fix up po uh, power outlets near the ip device and that would be very convenient save work and enhance our productivity so the poe network has three common standards PoE, I, they are all PoE, PoE plus, and PoE plus plus. PoE standard is the one that complies with the IE 02.3 AF protocol. It's the most basic one, and it was the one that provides with amount approximately 12.95 watts at the ending device. The second one is PoE plus, which is the standard that complies with the IE 02.3 AT protocol. This standard kind of has a little bit more power than the original AF standard because this one we use more pure copper ethernet cables and this will provide us more power at the ending at the edge device which is approximately at 26 watts. Then when we decided we need to power up more large size devices, power hungry devices, we used all four pairs of the twisted wire within the ethernet cable which means we're occupying all the wires, making the ethernet cable transmit power at full capacity. In this case, we would have 60 watts, even sometimes up to 90 watts of power output, which gives us a reminder of around 50 or 71 watts. So that is a great amount of power for us to power up either one power hungry device or multiple small uh, like IP, IP cameras or wireless access points. Like these kind of small devices, we can power up multiple ones. And our topic today, the IEA02.3 BT, BT PoE switch, is just a PoE switch which complies with the BT protocol, which is PoE++, meaning it has a huge power output. Now let's take a look at our fast cabling PoE++ switch. So the IEA02.3 BT protocol are all integrated in these switches, and they will help us provide a great amount of power. Let's take a look at the first really common one. This is a 95 watts high power PoE switch complied with the IEA 02.3 BT protocol. And this standard will have like eight ports, four of them which will release high amount of power. And then each port will go up to all the way up to 90 watts of output. And the other four ports on the left here will have an output of 30 watts, which is a standard PoE plus. And also you can see it has indicators on here so we can monitor the status of the output. And also we have fiber optic link ports here so we can also apply fiber optic link for, this, uh, for part of this transmission. Fiber optic link is a method to transmit data at high speed and long distance. And also for the hardware we have fans to release the heat so it can work in a very wide temperature range. It also has a power input outlet here so we can connect to our alternate current to provide the power. The power supply is integrated and also has enhanced surge protection. So this is a very basic model. Now let's take a look at it a little bit more. This is a slightly larger size. This one is an IE 02.3 BT PoE switch as well. But this one does not provide up to 90 watts of power output. This one only goes to 60 watts. And this one has a monitor, an LCD screen right here for us to monitor the power output uh, frequently. And we can manage and set the applications, the features for this whole PoE switch. Some, some features are just like you can set a time frame for the PoE ports to operate, if it's not in that time interval, it will shut down and once it reaches that time interval again, it opens up. And also an indicator is here to give a quick monitor on each output status, also fiber optic link here. 
It also has an uplink port. An uplink port it will just be designated for uploading data, so it doesn't have PoE features, so you have to make sure of that. That is only for transmitting the data maybe up to our internet or to like a network video recorder. So after these two really basic ones, take a look at a big guy here. So this one right here is our 16 port high power PoE switch. This one also, you know, has the IE02 perfect BT protocol integrated. So all these eight ports right here, you can see they are color coded as the purplish color. PoE plus plus 95 watts. So this one can provide a huge amount of power to all the through all these ports. A very ideal, a very ideal device to use when you want to create a very large network. You can use these to create to like PoE powered switches to let them provide power and data to further networks. It's a very good device for like a main network and these are all regular PoE outputs with 30 watts maximum. And also we have four fiber optic cables and two uplink ports so it's even better for gra uh, massive data transmissions or uploads. So it can process a huge amount of data as well. And also it has the power supply built in connecting to our alternate current so that makes sure we can have enough of power supply to all these PoE ports. And a really easy indicator for us to monitor the power outputs on each PoE port. Not really the amount, but the status of the output. And also it has this enhanced surge protection as well because it's gonna handle a lot of uh, PoE support, uh, PoE uh, IP devices. So this is our 16 port one. It's a very big device. Now let's take a, quick look at how to use this to connect to a PTC camera and a wireless access point. So a PTC camera and a wireless access point, these two are devices which are like on both the contrary. One uses a huge amount of power and the second one can even power up on a PoE IE 02.3 AF protocols device. So first of all we need is to connect the power to our PoE switch. So the high power 16 port PoE switch is connected. And remember, when we connect them, it's best for us to insert them in the proper output port. So for the wireless access point, we don't need that much power. So we're going to use the normal PoE output ports. You can see the indicator is on. This means the device is currently receiving power and data. And now let's connect our high power PTZ camera. So the PTZ camera we connect to our high power PoE ports because it works on a high amount of energy power. So if we plug it in, it starts self-diagnosing. So it means there's power going through currently. So once we plug them in, there's no configurations needed. They'll work on the proper voltage and gain enough power for the whole system to function properly. And that's pro probably very easy for us. All right, that's probably everything for us today. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to leave them at the section below. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.